let's show them how the water fountain works so they can set one up too. I'm so glad you could join me. Hi, it's Robbie. You know what? I'm going to show you. I just got my fountain. Now I bought this from the links that I put, you know, below all my videos. And I want to show you what it looks like. This is how they arrive. Usually well packaged. They come in a box. So this is what you get. And I show it in so many of my videos. You get the solar panel and the pump. Now the pump, you put the suction on here. So this is your pump and this is the solar panel. And now it comes with a protective film. So they want you to remove the film that is on here. They didn't do this before. So it comes with a film saying, do you want to remove the film before you put it out? Because this can melt and it can melt into your panel. But we're not going to remove it right now. So I'm not putting out. So this is how it comes Now This is one piece. Some of them actually have a plug and they come apart and some of them don't. So your project may vary just a little bit depending on if it's got a plug. They literally come apart and then you can plug them together. So you can make a small hole if you're working on, let's say, a little cup and you're going to do a solar panel fountain kit that way. And when you have to do it this way and this one does not unplug, you have to make the hole big enough to get that in. That's all. Let's turn it around because it's buzzing. Comes with instructions. They're never worth doing anything with. Let's put this down here. And then it comes with all these pieces. Let's get this opened up so you can see what it comes with. Now, be careful when you're purchasing because there are different types of solar fountains. There's some that is strictly a panel. You don't want the ones that are strictly a panel unless that's what you're looking for because then this goes in, the water comes out the middle, and this will eventually rot out. It does. These can go for two, three, four years. So this is all your pieces. Now, why does it come with pieces? Now, most of the time I don't use any of the pieces. I literally just get a little piece of tube and just use it like that. If you wanted to put this in a bowl with rocks, then you would just put that on and you could let it just run like that. And if you ran it like that, let's take a look so you can see what it looks like. That's what you'll be getting. And the birds love this when you have a bowl with just rocks. They absolutely love it. Okay, now, let's get this out. It's got suction cups. So sometimes it's hard to pull it off of plastic. Now, each one of these are different. What it is is they have different size holes. Again, I don't use it. If you're using a small bowl, it's going to spray out. If you're using a bucket, it's going to spray out, and you'll end up having it all empty. But what you're going to do here is, see this, this is really, really nice. This I do sometimes use. Let me move this out of my chair. Because this is very simple. It, it's a, a nice flow. See how it bubbles? Just a simple bubble. So this is just really cool. So I do use that. So most of the time, this is all I use. Now, if you want to use, this is like different parts you can add on. This one, here, let me show you. I'll go through each one. This one's got a little point, and this would be more. It's going to shoot the water up, and that you don't want unless you're putting it into something real big. See? It's just a little bit too much for me, but it might work for you. Let me tell you something. If you wanted to use this, you didn't want it to shoot up so high, you can take your soldering iron and make that hole a little bigger. The bigger the hole, the less the water will go up as high. This is another little cap that goes on this. Okay, that's not too, too bad. It's just kind of a... Okay, it's going to start going up there. It's a sprayer. These, these I rarely use. But again, if you like that and that's what you wanted to use, then what you could do, if it's too much, is make one of the holes a little bit bigger. Now, if you're going to make those bigger, just go a little bit at a time. Because remember, you can always make it bigger, but you can't make it smaller. Now these four pieces, some of them have four, I've seen some have more, but like I said, I don't think you're gonna use them. They snap on to this part. This is the part they snap on. Now I'm gonna snap on one of them. Let's snap on this one because they're sometimes hard to get off. So you, oh, actually it's not. Oh, this one is different. See, they're all different. This one actually turns. I haven't seen that before. I, don't, I never use these parts. They sit there and they pile. Okay, this doesn't want to turn that well. Okay, I've got it. 
So each one of these, like this one's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little sprayers on there. So that's not too bad. So that's not bad. And what you would want to do is go through each and every one if you were curious as to what will work for you. I generally don't use those, but it depends on your project. But I wanted to show you what they come with. A lot of you have asked, so what does it look like? This one's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 raised holes. Oh! And then we're going, we're watering the plant. So each sprayer is different. So that's a 12. And the other one was a five, I think. No, it's a seven. Let's see. This one is, oh, this one's got super, super fine holes. Really, really fine holes. So you just want to line it up. So that one's got super fine holes. A whole bunch of them, like pinholes but not in the middle, just around the edge. And then this one has just around the edge and then one in the middle. And this is uh, kind of has a little lift. And that's it. My favorite, seriously, is the simple bubbler or just this part. I really like this part because for hummingbirds, they really like that. It's a simple bubbler. And you know how I do it with cups and different things. I've got all kinds of fountains I've made around the yard. I have not used any of these yet. But these pieces, if this is what you want, you know, go through it. Because it comes with it. So, of course, look it over. And you can modify it. So, remember that. You can add extra holes. And you know what? If you ruin one of them, it's no big deal. You've got more. And they're all close to being the same. Not exactly. So, I hope I've given you some sort of idea of how each one of these work, what you're looking for before you purchase it. Make sure if this is the one you're looking for that it comes with the panel, the long cord, and the pump. And then you're good to go. They're anywhere from $11, $12, and then as summer comes in, I've seen them as high as $30 and $40. That's too high for this is the smaller one, but isn't that cool? And then don't forget to take the film off if it tells you. If you don't have a sticker, then it, there's no film. But some of them come with a sticker now and tell you there's a protective film. So before you put it out permanently, you'll peel it off. So that's it. So I can't wait to get a whole bunch of fountains together. In fact, I went to a store today and I found some really cool things there that I'm gonna make a fountain out of and I'll show you as soon as I get it done. But today I wanted to show you what kit you need. So with that, I'm going to shut that off. The hummingbirds are all over the place. Don't forget, they're waiting for food to eat with your girl. Bye-bye. Oh, this is cool.